Hi, it's Mark again from MBC Business Improvement Solutions and in this video we're going to share with you some simple and effective techniques to remove or eliminate various time consuming tasks. So it could be that it's always been done that way. It could be more likely that the process that you're, or the system that you're using at the moment, is a multi-step process and over time it's crept from being one step to two steps to three steps to do, to do part of the task. So it may be that we can eliminate either all of the tasks, part of the tasks, or merge some of the things together. Today we're going to talk to you about one specific example, about timesheets. Okay, so some of the problems that you've got there that you may be able to identify with. Timesheets are late, so your guys leave them in the vans, they forget to send them in, whatever else, or you can't read them, the dogs chew them, they've got coffee or spurt stains all over them, they lose them, and when you do finally get the things, they're wrong. You can't understand them, they put the wrong time in. It's a time consuming task to decipher all this information, to hand it over to your wages department so that you can pay them more what they need to be paid. And the other thing is, human error creeps in. The guys miss things, your wages clerk can miss things, so on and so forth. So there's just a few of the problems that I hope you can identify with. I'm gonna hand over now to Simon at One Mid Manager, and he's actually gonna talk you through some of the solutions that you can do, that you can implement into your business, and what the benefits of doing that is. So, over to Simon. Okay, so what I'm going to go through first is some uh, solutions to the problem of how you can uh, eliminate parts or the entire uh, steps in a, in a timesheet system. Uh, I'm, I'm going to merge this with some examples of, uh, of stuff we've done with, with, with the work that we do. So, if you're looking for a system to get rid of timesheets, the first thing that's got to have is it's got to be done on a, a mobile phone. Um, I don't care who you are, even the labourer has got a, a, a mobile phone that can do probably anything that we need it to be done on. So use a mobile phone, it, be, it can be used anywhere. The second thing a solution for, for this is going to need is um, the ability to, to create timestamps. So it's all very well uh, like a paper-based system where the, the, the guy writes down when he left site. What we want to know is when he actually left site. So you want to type on about a timestamp when things happen. The next thing you can you can do because you're using a mobile phone is you can GPS stamp it. So we can say right, well when the lad clocked out, he said he clocked out at five to five. It were actually ten to five, which is fine. But actually he clocked out. And we're halfway down motorway. That's a bit strange. So we need to something we need to look at. Um, next thing it's going to need is something called exception reporting. Now, if you've got lots of guys and they're all doing timesheets, uh, electronic timesheets every single day, you're going to have a lot of work to go through all of them and make sure that they're all they're all right, they're legit, the information's correct. Um, what exception reporting is, it's a way of simplifying that for you. So you'd use rules or techniques or solutions within something like an app or whether program you want to look at that actually goes through all the time entries automatically and checks everything. You know, did he arrive on site? Did he leave at a set time? Did he, if he normally does eight hours, did he do more than six and less than ten? Did he worry within a certain range of the site where he was supposed to be? Worry, worry when he was supposed to be there? So exception reporting just saves you a lot of time. Um, and then the final part of the solution would be it would then automatically create the wages for you. Um, no more of this adding things up and you have to try and remember, oh, Bob will work in a way that day. So the things that you're going to want to do is, obviously, the timesheet will need to know who that person is and allocate them to the correct day rate or hourly rate. It's also going to need to take account of travel. So, do you pay your guys to, to get to and from jobs or not? Do you pay a mileage or not? So that, that all automatically needs to be calculated in. Uh, in. In the work that we do, we often uh, do that using Google Maps. So actually, if you're going to pay somebody mileage, you just actually let the app calculate the mileage and say that's what you're getting paid. Just saves a load of hassle. Um, if someone's working away, maybe they're in digs, you're going to need to pay them for the digs, you're going to maybe need to pay them to travel further. Um, and then the final one is, you might pay them differently depending on what work type or what rate that they're on. So you need to have all that in as well, so it's a very complete system. So the benefits of having a, a fully working timesheet system would be, top one for me would be that you're only going to end up paying for the work that's done. Um, no more skiving off, finishing early, turning up late. Um, I mean, in terms of that, we had one guy in our office, a, a, a painter, who actually came into an app on his phone, and he actually asked me whether the app would allow him to skive off two hours early on a Friday. And as a business owner, I'm completely shocked by that because that's like saying, "Well, can, will you pay me for this and not work?" Um, the second um, 
benefit is that you can create the wage slip, uh, wage slips in a matter of minutes, not hours. On our system, you basically put a start and an end time and click a button and it, it, it spits it all out. But that's the, that's the level that you want to be working at. You don't want to be trolling through numbers and adding things up. Um, the third one is something that not a lot of people have thought about, which is what we call accurate job costings. And what this is, if we've got all the time entries in, in, a, in a nice organised system and we know what we're paying the lads, what their wages are in a nice organised system, we've actually got accurate labour costs. So if we can tag them to a particular job, we, we, we now know how much money we're spending on labour on particular jobs, which most trade businesses I talk to can't, can't tell me. Uh, fourth one is it will actually improve morale by making sure that you're paying people reliably on time and correctly each time. Um, uh, the next one is variations or so-called extras. Um, we tend to work with a lot of companies which do the do variations. Uh, what we can do is what you can do with a timesheet is you can make it so that you create a win-win-win scenario. A win for you, the business owner, you're making more money. A win for the guy who's done the time entry, the, your employee, he makes more money. A win for the client, they've actually got a, an extra little job done that they didn't know they needed. Um, and the final one is that doing this creates an auditable system, which, give, which means you can prove to your client that your lads were on site, they were doing that work at the time that you said they were doing it. So that's Simon Lewis from Woman Manager. Hope you've enjoyed that. Um, watch out for our next video.